welcome to my weekly market meeting i am sakanandi the designer and developer of q trading systems and techniques i used to work in information technology i retired about six seven years ago i work mostly in singapore nowadays i am living in thailand i trade primarily using stocks sometimes options mostly in the usa market sometimes in global markets as well i share my stock and market analysis regularly through multiple channels one is the traders forum sagannandi.com open to the public my twitter page sagannandi and also my youtube channel trading profitably Before I begin, let me go through the disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, I will look at the global market and also the USA market using technical analysis and then try to look for trading opportunities using Q360 degrees analysis. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let me start with Australia market analysis using the Australian index AXJO. I'm using the weekly backdrop chart template and the daily hop on or entry chart template. Together, I call this at a glance template because using this template, you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, the backdrop candle color is remaining cyan. So far this week's candle shape is indecisive. It is bullish in the weekly chart. In the daily chart, after displaying the bullish headwind, it went up almost in a straight line. If you watched the market meet video at that time, you would remember that around this point, I mentioned that the likely movement from there was upward. That came true. Now it is near the upper boundary level. That's why we are not going to take any long trade. The long trade entry opportunity was here using the cyan colored candle. That would be the go with flow trend following long trade setup. Because we are active traders, we would like to buy it at the earliest possible opportunity, not wait till today and buy now. Because every day that passes by, if the stock moves in our direction, the stop loss increases and the potential profit goes down. We would rather buy it at the first possible opportunity. Price is supported by memory support here. Unless it breaks down that memory support, there is no reason for concern. It is continuing to remain bullish. That is the Australian market. Let's look at the China market. Let me use the CSI 300 index for that. In the weekly chart, the backdrop candle color has turned bearish magenta and the shape is also bearish so far. In the daily chart, it is still in an uptrend. We are not going to look for any shorting opportunity right now. Because the traffic light candle color for today is bearish and the weekly backdrop is also bearish, we are not going to look for long opportunity as well. What about Hang Seng Index, HSI, Hong Kong market? This is more bearish than China market. 
previous week's candle shape was bearish color was neutral this week's color and shape both are now bearish in the daily chart it fell significantly after reaching the upper boundary level now it has already declined significantly from the recent high we are not going to look for any short trade now i will be happier if price goes up from here hits the memory resistance line and goes down again that will probably give a very low risk shorting opportunity using the go with flow trend following setup let's look at the india market the downloaded data didn't cover today's data let me open the live chat going online in the weekly chart after displaying the bearish headwind it dropped significantly then it moved sideways for several weeks at that time initially the backdrop color changed to neutral then we had a very bullish week one week ago this week initially it gapped up but now the shape is turning bearish and the reversal seems to be happening right from the memory resistance in daily when there were these two successive large bullish days many traders in the india market might notice that and start to buy on this day or at the close of this day however q traders would notice that there was a memory resistance at this point therefore on this day they would start to sell their positions swing trade short term trading positions and book profit that would be the wise decision now how to trade it the weekly backdrop color is bullish i'm not going to look for any short trade right now at least if price can go up break out of this memory resistance then i may look for a buying opportunity usually i don't look for a buying opportunity at or above upper boundary level however as i always mention the exception is when price was in a downtrend and now reversing in that case it is okay to look for a buying opportunity using the cyan color candle that may come next if price can break out of this memory resistance line when price reverses from downtrend to uptrend then it is okay to buy the stock even if it is at or near upper boundary level if price goes down from here there will not be any immediate shorting opportunity because the weekly is bearish sorry because the weekly is bullish we didn't find any trading opportunity in axjo csi 300 hsi hang seng index as well as nifty index in india let's look at the futsi index again using live data only during webinar sometimes i tend to use downloaded data to speed it up however uk market data is not downloaded yet so i can use the live data it will take a few seconds more this is uk market futsi index 
in the weekly chart the backdrop color is bearish now in the daily price went up it was having higher low and higher high now it is starting to roll over there is no trade setup right now one day earlier using this magenta candle you could take a go with flow short trade if you applied the unambiguous checklist for the go with flow trade setup then it would meet all the conditions yesterday the daily was magenta the weekly was also magenta however the stock was not in a downtrend we need to apply the trade setups keeping in mind the market condition go with flow trend following trade setup is designed for a trending market therefore if we are going to use the flow color magenta candle in daily chart for a shorting opportunity we need to make sure that the price is in a downtrend which was not true that is one thing to keep in mind just applying the checklist without keeping in mind the overall trend is not the right way even if price dropped and probably it would make a profit that would not be a valid go with flow short trade setup what i would rather like now if price goes up little bit and then goes down again that will give a low risk shorting opportunity when the next magenta color candle comes that will also begin the downtrend with lower highs let's look at the usa market using the etfs starting with s&p 500 index S&P 500 ETF SPY and because the ETF market is closed I probably should use the downloaded data to speed it up S&P 500 ETF SPY when price was at this point at that time itself I had mentioned that I was not going to take a long trend even if it was bullish because of the memory resistance in weekly watermark resistance in weekly watermark resistance in daily previous bearish headwind from where price could drop and another bearish headwind that came right at the top at this point i was not going to look for any buy setup that was a wise decision because price rolled over from there now the weekly backdrop color is bearish and yesterday's traffic light candle color is also bearish similar picture is there for the other etfs also qqq again it rolled over a little bit weekly has a memory support daily also has a memory trend line support therefore i'm not going to short it now neither am i going to buy it because both the daily traffic light candle color and weekly backdrop candle color are bearish dia rolled over a little bit at a memory support in weekly there is no trade setup because the traffic light color in daily and backdrop color in weekly are both bearish i'm not going to buy anything now in dia neither am i going to short it because none of the trade setups are applicable now last etf that i study iwm russell 2000 etf Here I categorically mentioned when price came to the weekly and daily memory resistance at this point that I was certainly not going to buy it. Instead, looking at the very high activity in that video, I mentioned that I was 
going to look for an exertion based bearish trade. That trade could be taken very nicely by using short call vertical by putting the short leg just outside the memory resistance around 159. And the long leg could be further out. That trade is already very profitable. One would have booked at least partial profit by now. The weekly backdrop color, daily traffic light color, both are bearish. There is no question of taking any long trade. There is no shorting opportunity now. The typical approach that I use when an instrument comes to memory resistance line. In this case, it came to both weekly and daily memory resistance and there was sign of possible exertion. The typical way to trade that as a reversal trade is to use short vertical, in this case, short call vertical. That is very profitable. What can be the possible next trade? Now the stop loss is far away. Stop loss will be outside the memory resistance that is far away from current price. That's not a low risk entry in our technique. If price can recover a little bit and go down again, that will give the trend following go with flow short trade setup. By that time, we will have a lower high. If a magenta color candle comes after creating a lower high, that will give the first trend following short trade setup after this up move. Right now, there is no trade setup. That was a study of the global markets and the USA markets. We saw there is no immediate trading opportunity in any of the market ETFs in the USA because the ETFs are already reasonably far away from the recent high for most of them. So there is no low risk entry opportunity. That may be true in many stocks also. I regularly share my analysis in the Traders Forum, YouTube, Twitter, etc. Let me review one example that I shared. I shared it in the last weekly market roundup video that was the last weekend and if you see the heading of the video i mentioned i am looking for bearish trade candidates though many people were bullish at that time i mentioned i was only looking for bearish trade candidates that was pretty useful that turned out to be pretty useful i would not know for sure but now looking back, it turned out to be pretty useful. And I decided to look for bearish trades, as I explained in the market round of video, based on 360 degrees analysis. Analysis of the market, sector, industries, fundamentals and technicals, everything. In that video, I mentioned about a trade in Nike. Let me look at Nike, NKE. When I shared the video, I didn't look up the earnings date. So later on, I followed up with a post on Nike, attaching the snapshots and also explaining how I actually traded it. I discussed it in the weekend market roundup video. The footwear industry Nike belongs to this industry. It was not looking strong. It was not steadily going down also. It was sketchy. Magenta, little bit cyan, magenta, little bit cyan, magenta over multiple review periods. It was up, down, up, down, up. As of that day, the footwear industry was weakening. Overall, we can see from the color coding that it was not strong. Strong industries are shown in cyan color in this scorecard and heat map. So the industry was telling us that it was okay to short a stock in footwear industry. Then I drill down into the stock scorecard of all the footwear stocks. These are the footwear stocks. 
Nike was most overvalued. Overvalued stocks are shown by magenta color. It was most overvalued. And the latest quarter earnings growth was negative. And for three quarters, it was declining from positive 13 to zero to negative 10. Overvalued stock with negative earnings growth. That is what I saw during the weekly market roundup video. Industry was weak. And let's look at the technical chart. At that time, it displayed the magenta color candle. This was the candle as of Friday's market close. You can see memory resistance line at the top showing that it was having lower high lower high with magenta color candle that could be taken as a go with flow trend following short trade setup and i combined with that technical information the industry weakness and the fundamental and earnings weakness that was friday's close i am in thailand so when market closed on that day i was not watching next day i saw on this day that is monday this Monday, I saw price was going up and right when it came to the memory resistance, I took a bearish position. And why I came to this example is, this example is illustrating the same concept I described when discussing IWM. When an instrument comes to memory resistance, one way to reverse trade it is to take a short call vertical so i took a short call vertical using intraday chart right at the memory resistance line on monday i took the trade but i didn't notice that the earnings was on wednesday after market close so wednesday in the beginning price went up but then it started to go down and that time i noticed that earnings was due on this day after market close so when it came down i had small profit not much small profit and i decided to exit the trade so this illustrates two points one is the technique of using short verticals to take a reversal trade when an instrument comes to the memory resistance line short call vertical for memory resistance in this case i used intraday chart because it was hugging the memory resistance. In case of IWM, I could use daily chart because it was having more distance between the candles. So I used intraday chart. The other point it illustrates is in my technique for short term trading, I don't hold on to directional trades across earnings. This was a directional trade. It was not an iron condor like trade, which is non-directional. This was a directional trade using short call vertical. Though it was looking weak, it reversed on that day. This was an intraday chart, not the market closing chart. I decided to close it with a small profit. That also demonstrates the discipline that once I discovered that earnings was due that day after market close, I decided to exit. I don't know how the stock will do today. Earnings is already out. It may go up, it may go down. But that's not relevant. I exited the trade with discipline. That is a standard technique you may use when an instrument comes to memory support or resistance. So let me try to find out such an opportunity using live system. There is an explorer that is Q Sonar Scan program looking for instruments. that are touching memory support or resistance. Let me run the one for resistance, Q memory trend line resistance. I can run it on daily as well as weekly. If an instrument is sitting weekly memory resistance reversing, that may be even more powerful. It may be reversing from weekly as well as daily memory resistance at the same time. That can happen. And let me run that on a list of stocks that I have, liquid stocks with liquid options also in the USA market. 
that has 324 stocks weekly time frame 324 stocks and only one exploration start the exploration let me go offline out of 324 it has found only 16 stocks from here i could carry on the analysis in different ways one way is to look at the stocks one by one using technical charts other way is to look at their fundamentals both are possible let me look at their fundamentals these are the stocks i found let me analyze them with stock fundamental and peer analysis tool it's retrieving data about all the stocks from Refinitiv, that is Thomson Reuters. Earlier it was Thomson Reuters, now Refinitiv. The updation is done. No data is stored in my computer. Everything is coming from, from Thomson Reuters. These are the stocks. These are touching memory resistance in the weekly chart. Let me also take this opportunity to explain the icons this icon will find the undervalued sorry this will find exhausted that is overvalued stocks you can see there are several overvalued stocks in magenta color let me look at them there are three and incidentally all of them are in energy they are touching memory resistance in weekly now let me look at these three stocks using technical charts they are all overvalued they are all in the same sector energy related stocks cvx eog nov i am going to look at only those three cvx look at them using the weekly daily chart template let me open it from local symbol cvx As the scanner found out, it is hitting memory resistance and reversing. In fact, last week itself, it stopped right at the memory resistance, similar to the situation in IWM, the trade that I explained. Looking at that, you could short at the close of previous Friday itself with short call vertical, the short leg just at the memory resistance or just beyond the memory resistance. From there, price drop, short call verticals will make profit very quickly if the stock moves sideways or if it goes down. In this case, it, you can say it moved sideways. The weekly shows it moved down a little bit, daily showing in a narrow range. The position will already be in profit. Let's look at the next stock. EOG it is reversing from the memory resistance in weekly that is the scan we ran and you can see in daily it came to this memory resistance and started dropping not sure if the memory resistance was already there if this memory resistance was already there when price came then you could take a shot at that time using short call vertical bearish trade and that would be already in profit as price drop. Now we will not try to short EOG because it is already significant distance away from the recent high. The last stock that was found by the scan in energy sector was NOV. This is also reversing from this weekly resistance the weekly backdrop color is still yellow. If it was magenta, then yesterday's candle KFA go with flow short trade set. But it was not magenta in weekly, therefore we would not try to take a short trade yesterday. But it is bearish. There is a distinction in my technique between whether an instrument is bearish or 
between the, there there is a distinction in my technique between the two statements whether an instrument is bearish and whether there is a low risk shorting opportunity here it is bearish looking to me for short term trading but there is no short trade setup using the standard trade setups i wanted to illustrate few more things when we look at these stocks these overvalued stocks in peer analysis fundamental peer analysis we have additional buttons now using the search button i can look up the stocks industry score so if i click that it will automatically go to the industry scorecard and we can see the industry as a whole is weak now magenta color score in recent days so we can integrate between peer analysis and industry analysis industry analysis also has some of the constituent stocks so cvx if i wanted to do a comprehensive peer analysis of any of these stocks let me refresh the entire stock list in industry analysis tool there are many stocks let's see which are the stocks that went down most yesterday these are the stocks that went down these are the stocks that went down this these are the stocks that went down <laughs> the earlier stocks went down i can see neog is a stock that went down significantly yesterday 11.5 percent and it is overvalued and the earnings growth in the latest quarters is negative suppose i want to do a peer analysis of this stock if i click this search button what it will do it will show me the industry strength the industry is actually not bearish not bearish if i look at this period however over one day period it is weakening we can significantly from 113 to 81 to 65 so it is okay to look for short trade i'm not going to look for a buy trade in this industry because the industry is weakening when I searched for the industry from the stock scorecard, it also showed me only that industry's stocks. So these are the stocks. I can see several of them. Many of them are actually undervalued valuation in cyan color. Only NEOG and WST are overvalued. If I wanted to do a more comprehensive peer analysis, the orange color icons integrate to external tools. So if I click this peer analysis tool, it will take me to stock scorecard from the industry scorecard. Let me click that NEOG. Now it is using NEOG as a root stock using the industry peer relationship and finding all the industry stocks. Now it has found many more stocks, 24 stocks. Whereas if I go back to the industry rotation analysis tool that had only this many stocks. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. The larger stocks possibly. Whereas when I did a live peer analysis of NEOG, I have many more stocks. Then I can look at the scorecard, and now I can see there are more overvalued stocks. The industry was looking weaker. You may look for shorting opportunity in any of them. Let me focus on only those overvalued stocks and sort by one day percentage change. I can see many stocks went down by more than 2% yesterday. Now you may look at only these stocks. One way to do that is choose the you default daily template so that it doesn't load daily weekly everything together and open all of those stocks together i have to go online now and look at only those stocks and i'm going to browse through all of them to see if there is any trading opportunity this one looks interesting i'll come back to this one this is rockwell 
made rmti i'll come back to this talk this one looks interesting qtnt okay let's look at qt nt and rockwell qt nt and rmti just look at those two stocks and i'm going to look at them now using weekly daily charts here why i stop at the chart is because it went to watermark resistance in the daily chart and then fell sharply displayed a bear release signal with heavy bearish pressure and bearish u-turn one could consider taking a short trade looking at this false upside breakout the weak industry and also fundamental weakness of this stock if you took that shot you might take that using intraday chart why i am saying intraday chart because the daily is still bullish sorry the weekly is still bullish i may not want to short it using the end of day chart the risk may be higher you may look for a shorting opportunity today also using intraday chart if this stock continues to go down that was rmti the other one was qtnt let me look at it using weekly daily this is looking weaker so between the two stocks i would like to choose qtnt for shorting the weekly is bearish daily is also bearish it has lower high if it continues to go down today you may take a short trade using the go with flow trend following short trade setup if you were watching this stock yesterday you carried out the analysis yesterday the same one that i did today during market hours you could short yesterday itself somewhere in the middle of the candle that would be a better choice because your fill price would be better that is the value of having real time data and analyzing it before market close let me stop here today thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in my next webinar have a great week and trade profitably